beautiful day in northern Minnesota. It is wonderful outside, nice and warm. Look at these clothes I got on. <laughs> Those are uh, pretty snazzy. I'm not dressed to impress. I'm dressed to uh, work, I guess. Yeah. Couldn't think of a word that rhymes better. Inside this door. This we, very this white very door, door. We have a broken 944. We had a little bit of a fuel pump issue. We're gonna put a new one in. It was leaking. And you know how turn five does things very adequately. But I do know, first thing you need to do is take off your good hat and put on a working hat. Oh, by the way, did you show them? I haven't new shown merch? them. I don't know if it's merch yet, but it's well, ours. We'll call it merch. If you'd like a turn five hat, because who wouldn't want one? Contact us somehow via something or something or email or a smoke signal and we'll work something out. You know a smoke signal like the thing people do when they're lost on a desert island? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. All right, let's get this in here. This might be not as impressive. I don't think this is uh, opening as fast as you thought it would. Watch this. All right. Hey, look, there's the 944. So today we are gonna walk you guys through the process of how we change a fuel pump in a 1984 944. It's gonna be exciting. Come along, roll the clip. Hey, Ty. Hi. First step, before you get under the car, disconnect the battery. Yes. So we have a battery disconnect knob that we can just unscrew and then there is no power, but you need to at least disconnect the negative terminal to the battery. Then you want to jack up the car. With your fancy two by fours. You want to put a clamp on the fuel line. So they haven't seen this yet, but can you see that this is the fuel pump. This big thing up here is a fuel filter and right here is our fuel tank. Okay. So we have a leak from the top of the fuel pump and what we have to do is take out these two electrical connectors this bolt up here or this nut and then there's another um hose clamp down here so what i did right now is take out these two uh rubber boots which i'm hoping is the biggest pain that we have today it's kind of tough to get those off so what we're going to use is an eight millimeter socket to get this terminal off and a seven millimeter socket to get this terminal off and then we will go ahead and proceed with taking the rest of the fuel pump out. So stay tuned. Here we go. Hey, Ty. Hey, we're both on the ground. We're back. So show them this. We got the two electrical connectors off. So if you're looking from underneath the car, eight millimeter, seven millimeter, just get those off, loosen them up with the socket, untwist them with your hand, and then uh, move the electrical connectors. There is no power to this car, but I am always fearful. So I put some, some electrical tape here and I cover this one up just in case there happens to be anything. The next thing we are gonna do is we're gonna take this side of the fuel line off first. So there's this um, connector thingy, ma ba ba do her. It's got a screw in it. So we're gonna, we're gonna loosen that up and then this hose will just pull out. You need to make sure that you have a uh, fuel line clamp on. It's still gonna be a little bit messy and we're probably gonna leak a little bit, but let's do this off camera. And then our next step is to undo this um, part of the fuel line up here. And then we'll be just pulling out the fuel pump. So when we get back, we'll have this disconnected and we'll go up there. All right. <laughs> oh, public service announcement. Looks stupid and we're, go and we're eye protection yeah because it's leaking and when you're underneath the car it's just good to you know look dumb and be protected very true may i start with saying i'm proud of us because we haven't beat each other up yet no because that's all the fuel that leaked up that's pretty good so we clamp this really well so these clamps i got them off of amazon i got three different size clamps and it was something like 12 bucks just look for a fuel line clamp and uh, I just bought these. They seem to work. They're holding what's ever in the tank, which you have like three quarters of a tank in there, right? Yeah. Well, you did before we had a leak. Yeah. 
Uh, so what we did was, you, all you do on this bottom side is you pull it out. And it can be kind of snug and a little bit of a pain, but just take your time and pull it out. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a 3 quarter inch wrench. European car, standard wrenches. American car, metric wrenches. Actually, we don't know. It could be millimeters, but we just didn't That's have a wrench. So thing. all we got to do is uh, uh, loosen this up. We're going to do it off camera. And this brass piece is actually the fuel line. So that's what's going to come off of here. Okay. So with any luck, we're going to spill not much fuel. We'll be back after we take this off. Alrighty. <laughs> Step number next. That could be close. <laughs> uh, like I said, you just take that, that nut off. It's a cap over here. And this is the actual fuel line that slides onto here. If you can see the fuel that's dripping on you guys' faces. Um, Yikes. Here, let's wipe you off for a second. <laughs> little bath, little fuel bath. Little fuel bath. Um, so you just, and then you just slide that out. And now the last thing we gotta do is take out the fuel pump. And we're just gonna loosen up this clamp all the way and it will just pop out. So uh, we'll do that again off camera because we are buffoons. And we don't need more fuel on the camera. <laughs> all right. Well, Tyler, we have reached the point of our automotive mechanical journey where stuff doesn't go right. It always happens. This process is super easy, but here's what happened. Napa sells you this fuel pump right here. And it works perfect. They say it's for a 1984 944. Here, I'll even show them the original up above. So you buy this from Napa thinking it's going to work. What happens is, this little thingy with Bobby that needs to get connected to the fuel line, it's supposed to screw in here. So well, these threads are standard. What comes on the car is metric. So this is no good. Now if you look at that fuel pump and compare it to this one, they look almost identical except this one's green. So there you go. They look the same, so you wouldn't think anything of it. So we, go to, so we went back to Napa to see if they had a, a metric fuel pump that will fit this fitting. Well, they don't. They were of no help. So do not buy a fuel pump from Napa. Do not buy a fuel pump from O'Reilly's. They have the same issue. Yep. The only fuel pump you can buy is from Auto Value, and the part number is CFE0226. And that will come with the correct fittings and and it is a metric pump. So we went all around town today to try to find one. Couldn't find one. Because Real. we live in Duluth, Minnesota. There is nothing for a Porsche here. So uh, we're gonna order one. It's gonna come down Tuesday. We're gonna finish. This process is gonna be super easy. Enjoy the couple days off and we'll see you when we're working on it again. <laughs> Take care guys. Wait, should we do a snap? And we're back on a not as beautiful day but we have the delphi it's fuel the, pump it looks like it's the correct part so let's jack up the car and put the new pump in all right the second half of our project will be over i hope it wasn't in there oh no oh hey ty hey okay if you can see up here i don't know the light is good that would have helped when I was doing my other work. Oh. All right, so what we had to do with the new fuel pump, it comes with different size electrical ports on the fuel pump. So you have to cut off the wire as little as possible okay. and then crimp on new connectors. The black with green is... The positive. The positive, and then the red, orangish one. I it, think it's technically supposed to be brown is a negative. So important, black and green, positive. Uh, and now we're gonna put the new fuel pump back where the old one came from. We're gonna hook up the fuel lines and then we're gonna hook up the electrical. We'll be back in a second. Woo! <laughs> I'm really getting tired of seeing you down here. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just sick of being underneath the car. So we put the new fuel pump exactly where the old one went, tighten it up with this clamp here. It stayed there. The next thing we did is we slid this fuel line, which comes right directly from the tank, push it on there, tighten it up with this clamp, and we put the new fuel line that comes 
goes up to the rest of the car there with the old um, cap on the top and then we put the negative and the positive wires these boots do not fit quite like they used to so we are going to use some electrical tape and make sure that gets buttoned up but i think the next thing to do is to uh, give her a try we don't currently have any leaks we took the clamp off and it's not leaking and wish us luck yeah here we go well here goes nothing Well, it works. So? Uh, stop it. And something might not be working. We just got a little leak. Just a little leak. All right, we'll be back. Take two. Stop. Give her the beans! You want to take this pretty little girl out for a date? Sure. All right, let's hit her. All right, fuel pump installation. On a scale of one to 10, the actual difficulty. Uh, difficulty four, three. It's a little more difficult than changing spark plugs, but yep. not terribly bad, right? Yeah. Uh, the difficult part is with an old car, it's hard to get the exact fuel pump. It is. So that's where we have we had little leaks was in between each of the fittings that we had to take care of. So we're able to do that. It is done. We're taking on a cautious maiden voyage. Seems to be running okay though. Yeah, it feels just like it did before. So turn five suggestion is. If you really want to get into it, go ahead and change a fuel pump on your 1984 911 Porsche 944. Right? I keep on saying 911. Yeah. Because that's my car. I and think that's, it's the one that you wish I would have bought. Right. So anyways, it's not really that terribly difficult. No, it's not difficult. But I would uh, recommend, you know what you're getting yourself into. It's right. not going to be perfect but it's possible with your standard amount of knowledge. Because if we can do it, if Turn 5 can do it. Yep. Anybody can do it. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this helps at least one person. Um, and hopefully we don't need to call a tow truck. Yeah, hopefully. That All would right. stink. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll talk to you later. Awkward high five. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Let's leave them with a couple of... Uh, beauty shots. Okay. All right. Till later.